So the Butler Bulldogs played the Belmont Bruins yesterday at Hinkle Fieldhouse, and it was a great game. I was very impressed. Belmont's always one of those tough mid-major teams, and uh, Coach Bird's a great coach for them. He's uh, He always gets his team ready to go, especially in big games. <clears throat> I knew this game wasn't going to be easy. Belmont, like I said, they're just, they're just always tough, and it starts with the head coach. But... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Butler got behind early in this game. They got down by 10. Belmont was shooting the ball very well. They have a lot of good shooters, a lot of good three-point shooters. But uh, Butler got a big run at the end of the first half. <clears throat> got a big run at the end of the first half and was able to take a one-point lead into halftime. And then in the second half, uh, Butler just was able to wear them down. Uh, just just played really tough. Got did a great job rebounding the ball. Did a great job shooting the ball and the defense really stepped up in the second half. Uh, Belmont scored 38 points in the first half, but then only scored 18 in the second half, and it was because, like I said, the defense um, just really stepped it up, did a great job of closing out on their shooters and just making things hard for them. Butler won the game 67-56. to 56. Um, In this game, Roosevelt Jones had 20 points. He really came out today, uh, or yesterday. He had 20 points on 8 of 12 shooting. He was... Uh, Four of nine from the free throw line, so he kind of took a step back there. Um, had seven rebounds. Four of them were offensive. He had three assists. Cameron Woods had eight points on four of six shooting. He added uh, five rebounds for us and two assists. Andrew Travis had eight points on three of eight shooting. He was 0 of three behind the three-point line. He was two of four from the free throw line. He's going to have to not do that so much. <laughs> four rebounds for him. Two were offensive. He had four assists as well. Uh, Alex Barlow had five points on one of three shooting. He was one of two behind the three-point line. He added three steals for us. And Kellen Dunham had 15 points on five of 11 shooting. He was four of six behind the three-point line, and he added five rebounds for us and two steals. Uh, off the bench, Austin Etherington played nine minutes. He was 0 of 1 from the field. That was a three-point shot that he took. Uh, zero points for him. Tyler Weidman really stepped in and did a great job. Seven points on two of four shooting. He got us nine rebounds. Three were offensive. He had two assists and two blocks as well. Jackson Aldridge played one minute, didn't take any shots, zero points for him. And Keelan Martin came in, four points on two of seven shooting. He was 0 of 4 behind the three-point line. Uh, for the game, Butler shot 25 of 52 for 48.1%. Uh, Belmont shot 21 of 52 for 40.4%. Uh, Three-point field goals, Butler 5 of 16 for 31.2%. Belmont 10 of 26 for 38.5%. Free throws, not so good here for Butler. 12 of 21 for 57.1%. Belmont 4 of 6 for 66.7%. Uh, rebounds, like I said, Butler dominated this category 38 to 21. We had 15 offensive boards to their 7. Uh, we actually had more offensive rebounds than they had defensive rebounds. They had 14. Um, Assists, Butler lost this category to Belmont, 14 to 13. Steals was tied at seven apiece. Blocks, Butler wins this category, three to two. Turnovers, it was tied 15 apiece. And fouls, Belmont had 16, Butler only had 14. Um, points off turnovers, uh, Butler wins this category, 17 to 15. Second chance points, Butler dominates this category, 19 to six. Points in the paint, Butler dominates this category, 36 to 22. Fast break points, again, not much of a factor in this game, 4 to 2 in Butler's favor. Bench points go in the favor of Belmont, 16 to 11. Biggest lead of the game um, was 11 on both sides, and uh, there were three ties and 10 lead changes. So this is a pretty competitive game, and uh, Butler just hung in there, took, you know, took everything on the chin, and was able to just pull it out. So I'm very proud of the effort. And I've got a really big game coming up on New Year's Eve. I've got to play at Villanova, uh, number six team in the country, I believe. So they're undefeated. Nothing's going to be easy. They've got a ton of great three-point shooters just like Indiana. So they're going to be hard to guard as well. We're just going to have to close out on them and make them. Uh, they don't have, you know, they haven't played a team as tough as us yet, but we haven't played a team with that. Well, we've played Indiana, but Villanova's got great shooters as well, and it's going to make things difficult. So they've got very athletic guys. So, like I said, Butler wins uh, this game 67-56, to and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.